With the first batch of Steam decks finally arriving to the houses of those early enough back in July of 2021 to place their pre-order, within the first 30 minutes of the pre-orders going live, you obviously have some people reselling these Steam decks for double, triple, quadruple, quintuple the price, and I bought one. I took one for the team, and we're, we're gonna open it. Yep. I guess we're just gonna jump right into it and I'm gonna talk about it a bit more. I actually just really wanna get this thing open. You are presented with this, which can't be that important, right? It's just like a little, a little sheet of paper. None of you guys care about this. All you want is this. This is, this is the overpriced piece of machinery I just paid for. And then here, I'm assuming these are charging cables or whatever cables come with the, the Steam Deck itself. It looks like we have the charging cable, which is the only cable it comes with, which is nice. So, let's see what we got. This right here is the 512 gigabyte Steam Deck that retails for $649, so I paid a little over double asking price, which honestly isn't terrible based on some of the prices in LA right now, which is where I'm based. While I open this, I'll give you a little backstory. So I was looking for, I didn't care which size Steam Deck I got. I just knew that I wanted one. <laughs> People were selling the 256 gigs for $2,200. A lot of 64 gigs going for 1500. So they, they, the, the prices are literally absurd. So I'm not that sad. No, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sad for what I paid, but that's what I get for not pre-ordering it. It looks like there's a little like security tag on this that I need to cut. So let me go grab scissors. We're gonna give it a quick little circumcision. And then I'm, I'm honestly like kind of nervous just because like I know I, from the reviews that I've seen and the, the articles I've seen about it, it doesn't exactly feel like a very, like a MacBook has that elite distinguished feel. I've heard this feels a lot like a switch where it's just a portable plasticky gaming device but the fact that it, i paid such an elevated price makes me like nervous for what i'm gonna get but the moment of truth drum roll please <clears throat> ben that's that's your cue to throw the drum roll in come on come on dude there's people thank you okay drum roll here we go No, it, it does. It does look very nice. Here we go. We're, we're, we're picking it up. Okay. I, I, it, it, it feels, it feels solid. It feels big. It's large. That's what she said, but God damn. I'm so I, I, I personally, I like the, the size of it. It's, it's big. Yeah, this is just gonna be there's so many that's what she said jokes. A lot of people were saying it's on the borderline like too big size to where it's not even really practically portable. But I mean, I would much rather carry around this little carrying case than have to deal with a laptop, for example, where you also have to bring an Xbox controller with you. But this feels fine. This is like a, a good size, a good size screen to me. I have no idea how to use this yet, but I guess we're gonna get into that. Did we turn it on now? <laughs> I don't know how it works. Maybe I should have done a little bit more research before this. I'm pushing the power button and hoping it's charged, at least enough to turn it on. Okay, it's not. Okay, we have it plugged into power now, and I'm hoping it turns on. We have life. We have signs of life, this is good. I know a lot of YouTubers that do tech reviews and stuff. I'm sure they did some sort of research. This is my genuine first impression going off of no knowledge besides the few reviewed videos that I've seen. So this is, <laughs> I, I'm going for the general population here. I know nothing going into this. Okay, here we go. We are officially setting it up. I'm just gonna go through here. I'm, I'm literally just getting a feel of the controls right now. I'm assuming it's very intuitive so far. I'm gonna click English because that's the language I speak. Specific, sp specific standard time. So this is my first time using the keyboard. It's obviously touch screen. I, I do like that a lot. And just like that, we have our first update 
installing. And I guess I'm gonna use this time to go over a little bit of a backstory here. I think the biggest question a lot of you may be wondering is why did I pay $1,900 for a $650 piece of equipment? I have an answer. The first part of the answer is also a thank you. And it's literally because of you guys with the insane growth of this gaming channel over the past 13, 14 months, I'm able to make purchases like this, which is crazy. Never in a million years, I think that'd be possible. Second, because my DMs have literally been getting blown up saying, Garrett, you have to try the Steam Deck. Garrett, see if Skater XL, see if Session works with the Steam Deck. Garrett, get this. You can play in your backyard. Garrett, oh my God, you got to try the Steam Deck. So I, I tried the Steam Deck. And I, the, the third reason is also very true. There are a lot of people, myself too, honestly, that technically had the funds to make the purchase, but they still weren't sure if it was a a good idea is it worth it is it worth $1900 which I'm gonna without even trying it I'm gonna say no you can buy a very nice PC for $1900 but there are people out there that really like the aspect of portable PC gaming and I kind of wanted to give you an unbiased not sponsored not paid in any way shape or form an unbiased review of this of this little handheld console PC thing and lastly the fourth and final reason is Gaming is a part of my life. Whether you think that's whack, whether you think it's lame, whether you think I should st stick to skateboarding, whatever your reasoning is, gaming is a part of my life. It has been for as long as I can remember, and I'm sure it will continue to be. I've owned Nintendo Switches. I've played iPhone games. I I've gone through every genre of gaming there is to go through, and the portable PC gaming is something I've never ever dabbled in the closest i've gotten to was a nintendo switch to, to mobile portable gaming you know the thought of being able to play games from my steam library like gta elden ring skater xl session these, these pc games on that thing portably somewhat is crazy to me and I, I wanted to experience that this update is just about oh i think it's done i think it's restarting we're going back to the hand cam the first thing i've definitely noticed is these loading screens are taking a really long time. But maybe this is just like a first time, a first time boot up loading screen because these things take like seven minutes. It's making noises. We're, se we're setting it up again. We're going through the setup process again. I speak English. I'm still in Pacific Standard Time. We are linked to internet already, which is nice. Time to sign in to my Steam account. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna leak that information with you guys. Seven hours later. So right now it's given me a, a little tour. It says, before you start playing, let's take a quick tour of the device. Press or tap the, okay, boom. This is the Steam button. It says, press to access your library store. Got it, cool. This is the quick access button. Press quickly for notifications, friends, all that stuff, cool. Power button, yep, got that one, roger that. Volume up here, kind of like an iPhone. That one is a little bit hard to reach with my fingers over here, but I'll get over it. Last of all, down below is the micro SD card slot, which goes right there. You can put in the little micro SD cards for extra storage. Have fun, it says. How sweet is that? So uh, th this is where I'm kind of tripping out. Like right, right off the bat, it says recently played session, Assetto Corsa, Grand Theft Auto, Shredders, like are these I'm gonna have to install these right they're not just on here already that's probably sounds so dumb I'm gonna boot up session oh I got okay I gotta install I am gonna install session first I'm also installing skater XL while we're at it because those are the two of the games that I play the most even just for being connected to Wi-Fi this is downloading <laughs> this is downloading pretty fast I guess that's not the device that's just my internet but I was expecting this to take a while for some reason seven hours later the time has come I'm doing a whole separate video on actually playing Skater XL, playing Session, playing these games on this device. I just want a, like a, a genuine first impression. I can't not play it really quick. Wow, this is a trip. Oh man, we're gonna be playing vanilla. I, I think you can mod Skater XL or you can mod games because it's, it's essentially a handheld PC, but we're obviously starting out with, uh, with vanilla. No way am I playing the Skater XL on a handheld device. Holy shit. This is tripping me out for some reason. So you guys can see we are getting some frame drops. I am downloading Session in the background and I heard that offers very poor performance. Let me at least change my stance here. Turn down our music. This is this is really cool to me. I don't know if you guys think this is cool, but let's go kickflip from... Oh, I was going for kickflip from board. We did kickflip from blunt. Wow. Oh man, okay. Give me a kickflip from board. There we go. Did not mean to pop out of it like that. Nice little bigger flip, because I'm way too, oh God, I'm too used to session controls. All right, there we go. Dude, this this is this is working 
very well. And session just completed, which is cool. Okay, I, I, I'm, I already know I'm gonna get very distracted. This is not a gameplay video. That's for tomorrow's video. This is an overview. This is just talking about it. Yes, you could be spending your time watching highly educated YouTubers doing a in-depth and very knowledgeable review on the Steam Deck or you could be watching me. So I want to thank you guys for being here. I want to go over my first five minutes with the Steam Deck. Literally five minutes of ownership, my first impressions, all of that. And then off camera, I'm going to get into the nitty gritty of learning how to use it, filming some gameplay with it, filming some session content, some Skitter XL content. I just really wanted this first impression video to go up first. First thing first, the general appearance and feel of the Steam Deck itself. To be completely honest, I'm genuinely surprised that I like the way the Steam Deck feels in my hands. I've never really liked mobile transportable, I guess the word's portable. I've never really liked portable devices before, whether it's a, a Switch or iPhone gaming especially. I'm honestly not very fond of it, but it's big enough that it feels good. I, I do like it. I'm just waiting for someone to make a compilation of all the that's what she said jokes in this video. The sticks feel like they're in a really good place. I do notice there's these L4, L5, and R4, R5 buttons on the back of the Steam Deck that I've already accidentally pushed multiple times. I'm assuming these are going to be like programmable buttons that you can choose to use or not use. I'm probably not going to use them being the fact I've already accidentally pushed them four times filming this video. It also looks like you have two little track pads below the thumbsticks, which uh, to be completely honest, I don't know what they're for, <laughs> but they're there. They don't seem to get in the way or anything. So I haven't tested how they work yet, but those are there. The D-pad and the actual buttons themselves feel totally normal. It feels like they're ex in exactly the right spot. They feel super intuitive to use. Same with the triggers and RB and LB for you Xbox guys, R1 and L1 for you Steam Deck guys and girls. In terms of like ports and stuff, it looks like we have the micro SD card slot. Obviously we have a headphone jack. We have the USB-C. I thought we had a USB, but apparently we don't have a USB. How do you plug it into a computer? Maybe USB-C? So yeah. It feels good. I, I, I like how it feels and I'm pleasantly surprised. Up next, we have the interface. Again, keep in mind, this is literally my first five minutes, I guess eight minutes now um, using the Steam Deck. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. This is first impressions. Literally just being on the homepage in Steam feels pretty much exactly what it looks like. It's just Steam except in the palm of your hands. User interface seems super simple, super straightforward. You can navigate through tabs. You can I mean, it feels like I'm using an Xbox controller or whatever. So, I mean, I don't I don't feel like there's much to talk about here. But third and final, I think, at least for this video is how does gameplay feel? How does gameplay feel and look? I have Skater XL booted up right now. And I mean, my my first impressions are it feels like I'm playing PC vanilla Skater XL in the palm of my hand. So I, I have no complaints. The screen size honestly feels really good. And I know that some people were complaining that the size was a little bit too big. And I think anything smaller and it would feel too much like an iPhone personally. Now that session isn't downloading in the background, I'm having absolutely zero performance issues whatsoever. And it feels completely normal. It actually looks, <laughs> it looks really good as well. And I, I think that that's the, the biggest part that trips me out is because it fits in the palm of your hands and you it's it's like a, it's a handheld device I go I went into it with the mindset of like oh it's gonna look like a Nintendo DS graphics or it's, I'm gonna get performance issues or something along those lines and I'm not getting any of that obviously I'm playing an extremely simple game I'm definitely gonna test it out with more intensive games like Grand Theft Auto I think would be really sick um Elden Ring I've seen people play Elden Ring on it so there's definitely a long way to go in terms of um, testing it for me personally, but I mean, I am genuinely blown away. I think I, I think that's it for my my first impression video. Another huge reason I paid such an inflated pri price for the Steam Deck was obviously for this channel. I am more than down, and I encourage you guys to give me video ideas to film with this thing. I, I want to try everything. I want to try modding on it i want to try i want to try everything so anything you would like to see me try or do or participate in let me know in the comments down below i'm going to be reading through every single comment in this video trying out as many things as you guys like i think the vast majority of people aren't able to get their hands on a steam deck now or possibly anytime soon so i'm, I'm going to do my best to have you guys live vicariously through me and if you have anything you want to see let me know and i will do my best to get it done thank you guys for watching if you are new to the channel which i i assume some of you are please drop a subscribe uh, please subscribe and drop a thumbs up i post monday through wednesday on this channel and i'm 
always looking for new stuff to film. Pleasure having you guys here, and I'm going to go spend the rest of my day messing around with the Steam Deck so I can actually post good content about entertaining things. Okay, bye.